Hi, Dusty Shell, director with Usborne Books and More, here to share with you some great search and find books, starting with the youngest of your children. Here is a great little board book. We've got two in this series. This is Find the Puppy. We also have Find the Duck, and it's a great beginner for this. It introduces them to the character. Here's the naughty puppy that is getting into trouble everywhere. You have to find him on every page. Great for the little hands. They can look around for the little puppy, see him peeking out from the refrigerator here and sitting over here. So they gotta find that little furry guy every time they turn the page. Then we have our very first book of Thanks to Spot series. This is out and about. We have several others in the series. This is also a board book, but obviously a little bit bigger. Um, rather than thicker board book pages, these are kind of, um, they're thicker even than cardstock, so they're sturdier on the inside, but a step up from the inside of a board book. And the illustrations are really bright and colorful and eye-catching. And this one, instead of saying, find five cats, will ask them a question to make them think. So it says, which bicycle has a blue basket? So then they have to look all over the whole page until they find the bicycle with the blue basket. And each page has several questions for them as they search for things throughout the book. Our Who's Ready to Play series is kind of a non-traditional search book where every page it has the same animals displayed, but in every single page one or two of them will be just a little different and it'll ask them a question about it. So it says, who's splashing whom? And then you have to look and you can see the elephant spraying the kangaroo over here and the whale blowing from his spout. But then on the next page it's the same animals in the same places, but a different question says who's upside down so then they have to look for the animal who's sitting or hanging upside down and every page has a different question this is my kids favorite page who's pooped <laughs> all kids love to talk about poop right our picture puzzle books are really great for this as well this is under the sea and these also engage your children but they have a little bit more on the page like a step above the um, very first book of things to spot but it's a spot three little shells all the same, or how many crabs are here, or someone has dropped a watch, but where? So it's just a little bit of an upgrade, but this too has the thick board cover and the thicker pages. Lots of undersea animals in here. We also have the cats and dogs one as well, and my kids really enjoy that. Our 1001 Things to Spot series, many of the titles come in one of two uh, bindings. You can get the soft hardcover here or you can get it in a sticker book format. And even with the stickers, you can still reuse the search portion of the book even once the stickers are completed. So if you just want a little element of added fun to the search, you can get the sticker book. But these all have 1001 things to spot throughout the book. Every page has a theme, like this one is the icy north, and around the sides of the top it'll tell you how many of each thing to find. And in the sticker book, it's the same, um, and they are the same, so if you got the 1001 Things to Spot C sticker book, the pictures are the same, the other one would just include stickers, this is the farm one, instead. So in this one, once they find all of them, they, these are stickers down here, it's faded out underneath them and once they find all of the object or animal, they stick the sticker on there to mark that it's completed, but they can still come back and use it as a plain search book, even once all of the stickers are used. And then the big book of things to spot is a compilation of several of their 1001 things to spot. It's got 1001 animals to spot, 1001 things to spot on the farm, um, 1001 things to spot in the town, and um, things to spot long ago. So that's four books in one. This is not a sticker book version, it's the, the plain version. And again, each little section, each book has 1001 things throughout the entire thing that they can find. The Great Animal Search is really great. It's very detailed. I love the imagery in this one. We also have the Great Wildlife Search. And this is, again, maybe a little bit step up for your older children. My 9-year-old and my 11-year-old really love this one. I love how detailed these pictures are. And it also fills you in on information about the animals that you are looking at so you can learn little facts while it tells you what to search for. So like this is Orc Web Spiders Spin Webs to Catch Passing Insects Find One or Cottonmouth snakes wiggle their bodies to swim along, spot five. So it's not just one of each thing you have to find. And some of them are even vertical in the book. 
Where's Will? Yay, Shakespeare. <laughs> this is my favorite. We also have one that's about a ballerina and features real ballets. And this features real Shakespearean plays. It'll give you a little synopsis of the play itself and introduce you to its main characters and the main plot. And at the top of everything, it'll give you little pictures of the characters. And when you turn the page, there's a scene from the play and you get to find William Shakespeare himself and all of the characters that were listed across the top of the description of the play. And finally, we've got the big book of things to find in color. It's a really, really thick activity book, so this will last your kids a long time. And while it is a coloring book, it also has some search. So like this one says, find the lizards and color them green. So they'll have to look all over the page and find all the lizards to color them. Find and color the fairies who are wearing crowns. So this is a great interactive book that has lots of different elements for them to use and can keep them busy for hours. I hope you found one that your children will love.